students we were discussing the problem sums from your vulgar fractions chapter chapter number 4 vulgar fractions we have uh, completed our syllabus in the classes in the offline classes and we have also started doing our revisions isn't it so students uh, we were discussing the problem sums so i was discussing this one okay so i will just tell you in short what was the sum and what we have done in very short and what steps are left for us to do that also i will do okay so let's go through very short in a very short way i'm just di dictating out the question you can check it out from the pdf also okay yes so let's start from 16 2 by 3 that means this meter long ribbon 3 by 8 part is cut off clear it is further divided into five equal parts find the length of each part so students i'm just putting one diagram here so that your concepts become very clear suppose this is the length of the long ribbon a is the one end and b is the one end okay so suppose you have cut off 3 by 8 portion this is the 3 by 8 portion okay this this is the 3 by 8 portion you have cut off this okay again you have decided to cut or cut it off into five small divisions 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 5 see so you have got five divisions after dividing it by five divisions you have to calculate the length of each this small parts okay have you seen you have to length you have to find out the length of each small part okay so how far we have done just to go through very short so what is written in the second student second part the 3 by 8 part is cut off so 3 by 8 part is cut off means what 3 by 8 of the total length of the ribbon that means 3 by 8 into 16 2 by 3 you can just check out the calculation i am not just repeating it okay so uh, yes you can check out the calculation so what we have done in the next step the length of each part after dividing into five equal parts will be what this 25 divided by 4 divided by 5 25 by 4 divided by 5 isn't it because you have to divide it further into five equal parts so what will be the length of each part each part means one small part see these are the small parts you have to find out the length of these small parts 1 2 okay 1 2 3 4 5 seen so just do the calculation students i'm just doing the calculation here so 25 by 4 divided by 5 means what 25 by 4 into 1 by 5 525 five will get cancelled and we'll be left with only 5 by 4 isn't it okay so here also i'm writing 5 by 4 meter so 5 by 4 meter means what you have to convert it in terms of your mixed fraction isn't it so see how to convert this into mixed fraction see i'm just showing in the rough work 5 by 4 that means 4 divided by 5 isn't it how many times will go one time so 1 so 1 by 4 one remaining one in the, one is in the remainder so 1 1 by 4 meter okay so the length of the each part will be 1 1 by 4 meter this is your answer statement length of each part is 1 1 by 4 meter clear i hope the sum is clear to all okay very important student this time now 
moving to page number 47 students uh, exercise number 18 similar type is there very much important for your exam I'm just writing out the page number also everything I'm just writing here exercise 18 so page number 47 okay uh, many sums are there but uh, similar to this you can find it in sum number 18 okay sum number 18 i will start what is a sum let's read it out what portion of a piece of cloth will be left after cutting off 1 by 4 comma 1 by 8 and 1 by 16 portions from it clear that means you are having one big piece of cloth okay and if you just cut off 1 by 4 1 by 8 and 1 by 16 portions of from it then what portion will be left so students for this you have to calculate that what was the portion that you have cut off at first okay so students i'm just writing the first statement let the length of the piece of cloth x okay now what is given that you have cut off 1 by 4 1 by 8 and 1 by 16 portions so the portions that where cut off the portions that were cut off from the cloth 